Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new prediction talking about your future spouse. So for this reading we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, meditate on the cards and then when you're ready you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. So let's meditate together. Breathe in. Welcoming your future spouse. Breathe out, relax. And choose the one calling you. Pile number one, let's start and see who is going to be your future spouse. Before I start, pay attention to the looks appearing on the cards or maybe some type of symbol, numbers as well, because that can talk to you personally. So with this one, I see a big compatible connection. I see trust as well in the connection too and you too ascending and becoming your best self with your future spouse. And with this, you know, um, pinky and bluish color, what I see is you two melting with each other as like you are going to find somebody as a future spouse who is going to complete yourself but also support your own authenticity, your own uniqueness. So, and this is possibly why you feel like growing with this person, building with this person and trusting this person as well because you guys make each other happy. So that's very good already. <laughs> um, and dry his hair. So I'm not sure, but maybe you guys love to have spa days or just go to places where you can just relax and have fun. Although with dry his hair, I think of a home scene as like you take care of your hubby or just your wife and then, you know, just have a relaxing time together. So maybe that's the symbolism of like two introverts or homebodies or liking to just stay in your cocoon of safety together um, and having fun and taking care of each other especially so let's see with tarot cards more about your future or future spouse anything you need to know but specifically their portrait seven of cups okay <laughs> this is promising to be honest because this talks about wishes coming true it's pretty much when you hit the jackpot seven 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 i mean yeah, that's gonna be the code for you. So if you've been seeing that number everywhere, that's a sign. But also I see this associated to summer. And because we have seven, I think of cancer. So it could be a cancer, maybe. Or that can just be someone you meet around that time or marry around actually cancer season. And what I see with the mirror is you will be attracting someone who is going to mirror a lot about you or anything related to your values and personality especially. So that's actually you manifesting everything you wanted in your person, everything you was valuing, supporting or just, you know, just admiring in somebody. You attract, you manifest. So and claim this energy for sure because you amplify that. But yeah, I just see that person actually entering your life and you're going to be mind blown because they are exactly what you wanted, exactly what you dreamt about and fantasize about. Although sometimes you believed, oh, I go too far or I just daydream too big. No, actually you are creating your destiny and reality every time. And so, and I see that this is because of it, you doubt this is possible for you to hit the jackpot or just to find the right match for you because you've been cheated on before, because you've been in a relationship where it's been very difficult and quite toxic, let's be honest. So um, that's why change is coming for you and now you are rewarded by somebody who is going to be mature enough and stable enough, but also valuable enough to bring you happiness and to support you to become your best self. So change is coming because now it is time for you to break down that karma and open a new gate, a new door to some new dynamic with relationships. So let's see what will come after with this person that you are encountering on this card. Yes, I just said it. You're stepping into the new, you know, welcoming change. And this gate is opening. So the masculine is entering and finally choosing the one that is actually the most compatible soul. The three of cups represents soulmates or friendship. So perhaps you are going to be meeting somebody your future spouse, um, as a maybe a friend in the beginning, or this could be someone supporting you at work, or someone you meet when you go somewhere and have a bond with immediately. But I see this person entering your life very, very quickly. Around summer is what I see with the cups, because we have only water energy here. So maybe that's a water sign or just water 
meaning representing our feelings. Um, this can just show a person that's very open with their emotions. They're very romantic as well, very kind, nurturing, loving. Yeah, that's the jackpot you're hitting right there for sure. And this person wants to grow with you with number three. They want to be building something with you. I mean, that's your future spouse, of course. We're all expecting a forever story. And this is what you're getting, to be honest. That's why... You have been tested before. That's why you needed to experience broken relationships and dynamics to heal your soul. And when your soul is healed and open, this is when this person can finally enter. You know, open that gate and meet you. And I feel like you've been waiting. <laughs> you've been waiting for a long time and now you're tired to wait and just to, you know, attract people that are just, you know, making you a bit cray cray sometimes or just making you want to give up on love. Actually, they are testing you. And the more you respond to these connections, it's like, I don't want it anymore, or I just want to give up, you tell the universe, I'm not ready. Because actually, a relationship, even though it's a healthy relationship, you need to put the work into it. You cannot expect it to be perfect without putting effort into it, or working on the connection and, you know, building a bond with somebody or providing to the person. No. This asks for dedication. And so they're testing your patience with broken people or situations that are not really comfortable. So you can just adapt to it and say, I deserve better than this. And when something is going to be in alignment with what I want, I will know how to respond and how to put the work to win this person and to be building with this person. That's how I want to grow. So let's see more traits, so with personality cards especially, so what this person is going to be with you, any type of hints, honest and jealous, okay, ha, and we, I mean, I mean there is um, loving as the overall energy for this deck, so you're indeed attracting someone very loving, and you could see that, this person is gonna put the work to seduce you and to charm you and connect with you and show up to you. So this is going to feel different for sure. Because possibly you've been around people who just are playing games and not really mature. Um, they just want you for your body, etc. So now you're attracting someone who's quite jealous because they, they only want you to focus on them. So if you play with different people or if you just date multiple people just to select the one... In the beginning of that relationship, of course, not in the marriage, all right? Um, but they will be a bit like, you know, looking at you and, and be a bit turned off if they see that they're not really the option or the one. And they're going to be very honest with you. And we saw that with the first card, honesty, trust, and supporting each other. So these are especially values you guys will celebrate together and honor from the other person so honesty and I also believe you will attract someone you can rely on rather it's mentally emotionally spiritually or even physically this time with you is precious isn't it beautiful so this person really values what you guys create together exchange together I told you, <laughs> you guys might just enjoy to stay at home and cozy and although I see you exploring together, yes, yet I just believe when you guys are in your cocoon together, it's something magical. So you have a little something on your lips and eating together or going to a cafe together, perhaps reading a book together. Maybe your connection with your future spouse is going to be very intellectual. As like exchanging about topics that you guys enjoy. Let's say you have the same passion for art. So you can talk about art for hours. Or let's say you have the same passion for cooking. Then you're going to talk about food all the time or cook together. That's going to be this mutual attraction here as a mutual interest. Or something that you are really passionate about. But the time you spend together is always very precious and quite magical at the same time. But eating or just treating yourself good food is something I see you guys doing in this marriage. Let's see places now. So, so far we saw the coffee place, outdoor terrace, terrace. let's see. <laughs> okay, I'll take the ones facing up for this deck. So study room. 
And perhaps if not a friendship, like I said, you can be working with a person, but if you're still studying and watching this reading, maybe that's the sign that your future spouse could be found in um, your school or maybe studying about the same thing. Or maybe exchanging about what you study. It's not because you're an adult that you stop studying. I'm still actually studying about a lot of different topics. I'm really interested as a person. So yeah, it's the same for everybody. You guys will be really interested or just attracted towards learning more things, more skills. And that itself will be allowing the two of you to exchange about what you study. So study room, lunch break and creative corner or YouTube. So perhaps this person wants to be creating content online. If not YouTube, it could be a different platform, but really I'm getting some, you know, interest about, because here we have um, Photoshop. What else do I see? Any type of editing um, apps, apps or what is it called? I don't know. But anyway, so anything related to creative programs, this person will be using to create content possibly. So maybe meeting at a cafe, restaurant, lunch break, the terrace as well. Mm, and yes, interested about creation. So these can be things you do when you guys will be married. But that can be some type of interest they have. So let's say if you have a connection with somebody who is a YouTuber or a TikToker, or let's say um, they love to read a lot, that can be a sign for you. Let's see more places with this other deck. And then we have messages. And of course, these places can be very symbolic. Let's say like, for example, this one was a ball, you know, a ball party going on. So perhaps meeting at a party can be the sign for you. Or when you go to a certain um, place, when you enter a certain place, for example, the cafe, the um, terrace, or like online, on YouTube. I don't know, something can be talking to you this way. And then we have the coffee again. So cafe, and this one is open. And the signs that you see on the cards can talk to you personally. And because I could see the door open, Yes, this person, but yourself as well, are open to be in this loving relationship. Do you need some warm coffee? Perhaps coffee is something they drink as well, or they can just be warm and also very energized as a person. Let's see another one from this deck. Any symbolic places we need for group number one. We only light your way forward. I talked about growth. So someone cheerful, encouraging, supportive as well. This is what I see. And because I see a lot of light and green around. So first I see this as somebody who has a lot to express, a lot to teach you and a lot to exchange about. Because I think of there's something in French like the time of Lumière, which is when geniuses were exchanging about different topics and growing all together and becoming more knowledgeable. So I see that with your person too, becoming no more knowledgeable or more interested about a certain field that is going to serve you for your own growth. But sharing your light with somebody, with your future spouse is what I see especially. And with the green, I think of growing, perhaps money related as well, but especially growing as people. Together, so let's see messages. Anything your future spouse wants to say to you? I mean, <laughs> these two are so connected. So this time with you is precious. And being in your, in your presence, I was about to say company, being in your presence is freeing. So you're going to feel your best with this person. Like that's really the vibe. I'm sensing with this reading actually. And here, give yourself to me. Okay, this is going to be very passionate as well. Give yourself to me, which is also cool, like be mine, kind of. So they'll making, they'll make things, geez, they'll make things pretty clear. They desire you, they want to be with you, they want to, you know, exchange, but also connect with you physically. I'm gonna pull you towards them, <laughs> like I want to. But I see this relationship as something very romantic, you know, kind of like 
old ways type of romance and not so much of the modern days type of dating it's something that's gonna be still you know kind of like two old souls coming together and from their past self expressing their love you see what i mean it's really the vibe i'm getting for this group so i'm gonna move these on the side and i'm gonna pick letters and words so what we can see is a name a place maybe some type of code for you so let's see group number one Gentle, I mean, yes, you're attracting a gentleman or gentle lady. Funny. They can have Libra energy, Aquarius. Little, little funny. Smile, you and forever. This love is indeed from other lifetimes. I can get that. You guys might be soulmates, perhaps twin flames as well. But I just see a soul connection. Something that you was craving for and manifesting and calling for because you felt maybe alone <laughs> um, maybe like nobody is really compatible with me so now you're you're really manifesting the one as this future spouse and scorpio so let's see if we can see some type of hints or a message ever forever ever you like yeah <laughs> i mean this person is totally fond on you that's definitely the case I heard journaling, so maybe you use techniques like scripting or journaling, maybe even having a vision board to manifest this future spouse. Looking at the sky together can be something you do. Germany is what I think about. Finland. I heard journey, so maybe you have a journey together to fulfill. I heard skyrocketing as well. So perhaps you two coming together will inspire each other to grow, to skyrocket, to really improve your game or just master something together. So let's see with this grid more about their zodiac sign. But so far we have Scorpio, Libra and Aquarius. And again, <laughs> Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, and we have Capricorn, a little bit of Taurus here as an extension. So these are the signs. And let's see next some stickers. It's actually beautiful because I was thinking of Korea, especially Seoul as a place. Um, and I think of Sagittarius as well. Anyways, um, and here I can see some letters in Korean. And this is actually the, the beat of their heart. That's the code right there. <laughs> and I see them very beautiful. They might be interested about fashion or something related to beauty. Let's say that can be makeup. It could be clothing. It's, it could be hair, for example. Maybe kissing you on the forehead is something they might do or you might do and they might like. Okay, <laughs> I love this because we have cooling and here you can see the clock and um, the cards around. So this to me is actually describing the fact that it is your calling now to be with each other because now is the perfect time and this was announced in other readings. So you might be attracting or manifesting your future spouse. So this was your sign, actually, that this is coming. Ugh. I see a person that could be a bit shy or sometimes not really knowing what to do, what to say, to connect with you in the beginning. But the universe is assisting you. And I do believe you have you rather your spirit guides or angels just working on this behind the scene because they want it to work. This person can be into music or might love rock and roll. Um, that's really what I'm thinking about with this one. And they have their eyes on you. They really target something with you, a future with you. They want to walk in your direction. They might be traveling to you. Sometimes you might need to say goodbye to this person if that's a long distance relationship. I see that with the airplane. And I saw open with first the door open and then the sign and again the sign. So I honestly believe your, your 
I was about to say your spirit guides, your future spouse is wanting to be building right now with you and they're just waiting for you. Roman holiday. So when I see that, I think of books. And when I see that, I see that you guys can be traveling indeed to each other. Perhaps your future date is going to be a picnic, reading a book or talking about a book that you read before. Again, very romantic. And it's funny because I saw Beauty and the Beast yesterday. And when I saw these two lovebirds just reading books together and eating a meal, I'm like, this is honestly relationship goal. Like, you, I just, I don't know, I, maybe I'm old, <laughs> but I just feel this is something so beautiful when two people can just do whatever they like together and still connect in the moment. But anyways, and with this one, the flamingo, I think of summer again. So summer might be the season when you are going to be encountering this person that you dream about. I mean, we saw forever, ever, always. This person is the one. <laughs> like when you find this person, like it's it's over. Like the game is over. You don't need to search for somebody else. So this is your guys' rating. I hope you like it. I mean, if you don't, I don't know what you want more than this. But yes, if you do like it, please put a thumbs up, claim this energy, subscribe if you're new. For personal guidance, personal readings, the tools I use, cards as well, everything is linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Check my other ones while you wait for me. Bye-bye. <laughs> So part number two, let's see what is coming for you related to your future spouse. Before I start, make sure to pay attention to the looks on the cards because they can show you anything related to their appearance or style, so that can talk to you personally. So what I see with this one is first having a good time together, a happy marriage together. You can see them smiling, holding each other, having a good time together. And I see the synergy between you two as quite magical. You know, when you look at some people or some couple, like even best friends, they have something that spark about them. And this is what I feel for group number two. Something exciting, something fun, but also that deep compatible energy or connection with this person and with these arrows or triangles pointed up i see you two growing in this marriage wanting to be building something higher or growing together and we have go bungee jumping so i see the two of you quite as explorers you know just wanting to have fun explore life to the fullest um travel a lot possibly or just do activities that may challenge the two of you but that's something you want to try so this life is for you to explore this life is for you to have fun and fully you know liberate yourself and enjoy because this is actually a gift to be alive and you understand that and you want to celebrate life with this person so that's really good to see. Let's continue with the tarot cards and see more about your future spouse. Who is this person? There's also your future together. Anything you need to know? Seven of Swords. Okay. So what I see with this one is you are waiting, yes, for the one and you've been possibly disappointed with what you've been served <laughs> you know because we have the table here's like i'm expecting something good i'm expecting the good meal to come but i'm just served something that's not so appetizing and so i feel not so fulfilled you know when you eat something um, a meal and then you just crave for something else that tells you this was not fulfilling for your stomach or you're just hoping for something as a plus for some people, it's like, I love dessert, so I think about it, I'm obsessed about it, and until I don't have it, I don't feel like this was enough. And this is gonna feel like it, or possibly your life, and you love life especially, feels like it. You feel like you're not being served what you deserve, or what you really want to taste, or to get. It's like when you order something, and then you get something completely different, whether it's a package or some type of food, it's like... Dang it, like this is not what I expected. Or let's say you open the menu and you see that picture and you expect this to be like it and then it appears and that looks not so appetizing. So it's gonna be like it. In the beginning, you might be tested. You might be delivered things that are not meant for you or not really tasty for you. And if you say, it's okay, I'll take it, then you tell the universe, you know what? I'm okay just settling for less than what I deserve or what I asked for. And this is not about being greedy here. It's about understanding what is really what you want in life and only claiming and welcoming 
what you can celebrate and be proud of or just really compatible with. So I'm not talking about food here, I'm talking about relationships and connections. Like why should you settle for less or welcome clowns when you can get a king or a queen here? So when you actually make things clear to the universe, as like, no thank you, you can take it back to the kitchen because I'm not gonna heat that. If Like let's say for example, they serve you something that's expired. You're not going to heat it because otherwise you might be sick. You're not taking the risk. So that's the same with relationships. And I'm asking you, were you being okay taking that risk to be sick, to feel not good about a connection, not, not good about yourself because they made you feel a certain way? Or perhaps they made you feel like you demand too much and that's because you're asking the wrong people here. Okay, so that's really the vibe I'm getting for this group as like stop settling down for less because you can be served something different. And now it's you cutting that rose, like cutting contact or contract with the past and recognizing I actually deserve better than this. And because I notice it, now I stand in this reality. And I allow myself to be attracting somebody that's actually compatible with me. Maybe that talks about a divorce here. Because I'm getting that some people are expecting their real future spouse. But they were testing things with other relationships that they didn't, they didn't feel was really exciting for them anymore. Or not fulfilling for them anymore. And because of it, now they're going to turn their luck around into something beautiful. So number one talks about creation and new beginning. So you are offered the right people, the right person to be building the right marriage with. So if something fell before you divorced or you split it up with an ex, it's okay because now you get the chance to be building something new so you can be served what you was waiting for. And not something less, not something that's not so tasty, which is not something you expected on the menu. No, you are expecting something and now you get it. And if that doesn't come, you don't say yes to it, you say no to it because that is redirecting yourself towards what you desire, what you really value. So that's really a message I'm getting here. Don't settle for less because you're being tested. And if you just say yes to the test, you're gonna just, you know, kind of, kind of like when you play a game and you have these you know, little chapters in the game. And so when you win the first one, you can level up to level two. That's how it is. So if you want to level up, then show up as the hero. Like be your future self already. So let's see personality cards so we can see more about your person's personality. And what I see is sharing seasons as well with this person. So that means growing together, having someone you can really count on and commit to. So this future spouse is going to be the one, is going to be the one you expected, actually. So this is a bit too much. Let's pick two of them from this deck. Haha, -ha! I told you, <laughs> I told you you're about to attract the one. So yes, this person will be committed to you. You can see this wedding scene. Maybe that's the honeymoon, who knows? But I do see someone committed. I see someone wanting to be building with you. Okay, so yes, finally. <laughs> it, was, it was meant to come and it is coming now. So claim that. But this new opportunity to be with the one is what you are manifesting. That's what you are claiming for. And you're attracting, and I talked about this, someone very playful, likes to have fun with you. So yes, and this is why I see that it's best for you to say no and redirect and be peaky or let's say, like what people say, oh, it's high standards, like dude, like we all are meant to level up. We all are meant to become a best self, best version. And if you're not there yet, then I'm sorry for you, but I'm not going to lower my standard for somebody who doesn't put the work into becoming the best self they can idealistically become. So, but anyway, so you're attracting someone very playful, very fun to be around. And so they will want to have fun with you. They will want to make you happy. They will want to have happy adventures with you. So, and I think this is what you wanted. And this feels refreshing because finally somebody will understand you. Finally, somebody won't think, won't think that you're demanding too much or that you're too much or that, I don't know, but I just feel like you're just tired of people actually being keto, so actually just wanting you to be their dad or their mom or just the one who is always, 
you know, kind of fulfilling their cups because they cannot provide to themselves. And so they're just very demanding. And now you're just tired of it. So, and that's good because you being tired of it makes you just want to be more picky, makes you want to actually decide and choose the right compatible people so you can commit to and feel that's the one I want to be with. And that's the one I want to grow old with. And this feels like paradise and it will feel like it. And you deserve it, to be honest, because I see you. <laughs> you have been battling, my friend. You've been trying so hard. And now the universe is like, okay, good. And I love this warrior energy. I love the fact that you survived this. And now you are demanding only what is really worth your time, worth your energy, and worth your love. And so it will feel like paradise. It will feel like a gift to have this person. And this person is coming around spring. I have a good time. This is what's written on the t-shirt. Hopefully you can see that. But I do see you two having a good time. And we have the computer. I think of some internet connections. So if you guys are talking on the internet, whether it's on the computer or on the phone, maybe that's how you guys exchange. You can also be studying or just having these times when you guys brainstorm about ideas or just inspire each other with your work. Or very supportive as well with what the other person does. Too much. Just one, one. One more from this deck. I swear to God, it's been like that with this deck so many times, and I just keep on <laughs> put it, just putting the cards back. So yeah, let's let's be patient. One more, please. If not, I'll put it back. Perfect. Okay, two. I'll take them. I'll take them. So with this one, I see you guys guided because we have the rails of the train. Perhaps taking the um, this type of transportation to meet the person can be the way. So train or some type of transportation tools, car, airplane. I don't know what else, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be the way. So maybe you guys can be starting as a long distance relationship, or maybe that's a sign as you guys will be traveling to each other, and that's where we meet. So you guys will be actually guided, and I do believe your spirit guides, angels, and beyond, they are working on this behind the scene. They know that you guys are actually meant to be, and that this relationship could be a big success for the two of you. And of course, marriage is part of it, so that's gonna be indeed a big success. So that's where you guys meet. When I'm with you, I feel alive. I mean, you can see playfulness, bungee jumping activities, relaxing in nature, maybe going um, like for a picnic or just sitting in the park talking, cuddling, you know, that's gonna be the type of marriage I see the two sharing together. So that's quite beautiful. But like I said, you're guided towards this person. And this is why when this person appears in your life, or if this person appeared already, it was crazy. It was quite magical. And this person came after some type of challenge, maybe a heartbreak, or some redirection with your life. Let's see places now. So where you guys can be meeting. And perhaps the, the places that you saw. So let's say restaurant. Um, here we have the bathroom. So maybe when you go to a restaurant and then maybe after going to the bathroom, you meet this person. I don't know. Maybe that's a sign. We have the park. Here we have the mountains. Let's see more. Train station can also be, you know, <laughs> with... Uh, with the rails and there we have the park I, I talk yeah I was like I think I talked about the park before but yes obviously so park again or it could be just activities if not meeting there um that can be where you guys love to go and future trip I talked about long distance so maybe traveling to each other will be the way to be with your future spouse in the beginning um, but future trips is what you guys might enjoy. So going to relaxing places, traveling a lot together, making memories. Yes, 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 yes. So these were the places for this deck, but I have more places to come with this other one.
the convenience store and what can I do for you? And perhaps this person is going to treat you like this. The fact that if you need something, like you can really rely on this person or just feel comfortable asking. Let's say you need help or let's say you need to um, maybe clean the house. Then, you know, what can I do for you or what can we do together so it's not too much of a pressure for you? Like that's going to be the type of dynamic I see in your marriage. Which is always good to have somebody, you know, noticing how you feel, noticing if something is a bit too much or if you need help. You can actually ask for help and don't feel goatee or, you know, because sometimes people feel uncomfortable just to ask for help. And I'm kind of like that, to be honest. Um, but when you have somebody who makes you feel comfortable and like it's not too much to demand help or just some support, it's magical. So let's see this one. And again, convenience store. Let's see the message. All that you may need, you shall find here. So you'll find everything you need in this person. And if that's fine with you. Of course, it will be fine. I mean, that person is quite present for you. And wanting to be. Desiring to be a pillar in your life. Which is always welcomed. Let's see messages for... Group number two, so from your future spouse, anything you need to know. Okay, so right away with this one, I, I think of two lovebirds possibly meeting around um, their workplace or might be working in the same field. Thank you for assisting me with my purpose. Or if not working in the same in the same field, you guys will be very supportive with what the other person is doing. So you're going to see the value in what they do, not as the effort they put, or the way they grow with their career as well, and you'll be very cheerful and supportive. What if I make these lips mine? I mean, yes, uh, yes, yes, I mean, obviously, because <laughs> we can see marriage, so those lips of yours will be theirs. That's for sure. So let's continue. I'm going to put these on the side and see. This is a grid. I'm going to start with a grid for this group. So we can see more signs. And so far, I think I did not talk about it. But let's see quickly. So we had air sign with the swords. And again, air sign with the sword. So let's put this this way and start. So we have Libra. Scorpio Sagittarius and I cannot see that with Sagittarius because we saw this this adventurous soul um, then we have Aquarius Cancer Taurus oh not Taurus geez um, Leo sorry and Virgo so let's pick letters and words this time so what you can see now is rather a name a place or something significant as a code So what I see right away, um, I don't know why, but I think of date. And I'm, I'm missing just the A, but I see indeed dating or going on multiple dates together. It's not because you're married that dates have to end. That's the thing. Like a lot of people just give up on this flirty game, but I think that's something to always, always um, work on or maintain. I think of deity. So maybe you have a certain deity that's actually helping you to manifest this person oh deity sorry well, deities maybe um let's see next think of denmark stuttgart i'm not sure what that is but i think it's in germany maybe dutchland dj so they can be interested about music I would street when I saw this as well. So perhaps you can see a certain street. Let's say, for example, you dream of a certain place with a certain address. It could be for you. I think of je t'aime in French, which is I love you. So perhaps it's some type of confession or some type of word this person may just say to you quite a lot of, quite a lot of times. Um...
that's pretty much what I can see. But let's see the other ones. So your wish, have, kiss, thing, run, and like are the words. So your wishes may come true with the person that you like to have. Or maybe you have a thing for this person and want to kiss this person. They may love to kiss with you. And maybe you can see this person's name and your, or maybe your, your two's initials. Because I see, no, 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 and something. So that can talk to you personally. Let's pick next some stickers about your marriage or future spouse. Okay. <laughs> I Honestly, when I see these two, I think of two sporty people, you know, going for a run together or going hiking together. It's, you know, it's the type of energy I'm getting here. So you might have some mutual interest about the same sport or just something you love to do for relaxation. And we saw the park as well. So maybe walking in the park together, holding hands. I need you. So this may be their cooling. They're stepping in. You can see the foot here and the heart. So they are going to make a move related to love. They might be a bit shy. That's why. <laughs> But they are going to confess their love to you. It's funny because we saw je t'aime in French. And here you can see love me. Fly away. We talked about traveling. Maybe flying to their destination or meeting them. Maybe here. Destination. Or destiny. Maybe that talks about your destiny together. Actually. And open. So this person is open to be with you. And they will take you, and I saw date with the letters too, and I can see that here. So going to a date, heating something together, that is totally the vibe. So this is rating. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to claim and subscribe to Manifest this beautiful marriage faster. For personal guidance, cards, the tools I use, everything is linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Check my other readings while you wait for me, and see you next time. Bye-bye. So Palma 3, let's see who is going to be your future spells and hints about this person. Before I start, I want to let you know, pay attention to the looks on the cards because you will see physical traits, rather style as well. So it's going to talk to you personally. But for this group, we have two cards actually that pop, but you know, I kept it a bit easier for you to pick. But what I see is that it is written in the stars for the two of you. You're attracting as your future spouse, rather a twin flame, soulmate, or some type of compatible soul. And this is why your spirit guides, ancestors, angels, or higher self and beyond are working on this relationship with you. They're sending you signs and symbols all around, and this person will feel attracted towards you right away. And you might feel a connection with them, or may just question, like, why do I feel so attracted by this person in the beginning and you will just find the answers or things will just match and click with this person it's like this is exactly what I wanted so you're attracting your must ideal future spouse your must compatible soul and with the blue color I see especially a compatible exchange with the person because the blue represents first loyalty so that's really good to have in marriage um, but also this relates to our throat chakra so, indeed, communication, talking for hours, that is totally what I can see here. And this scene is a scene of seduction. You know, what you see in movies or what you see in K-dramas especially. Um, but also, you know, some type of move that's quite seductive and that makes your heart just stop beating because that's quite uh, intense yeah so this is gonna feel like it when you meet your future spouse you guys can also be meeting online because when i picked this this group actually this one came first and then this one popped second so right away this gave me a hint as like you guys can be meeting rather on social media or talking on some type of social media especially instagram is what i see here but you guys can be bonding over that type of of platform rather utilizing it or you work with these things so let's say for example your person can be a content creator then that's going to be the sign if they have some type of influence online that's going to be your sign you know that can be 
talking to you this way with these type of hints, but I especially see that good luck will be offered to the two of you with this connection that you built rather on social media or some type of apps. And I also think of dating apps, to be honest, because we have a lot of hearts around and some, you know, do something for him. So you guys can just be exchanging about what you like, what you, you know, enjoy, um, your interests as well. So yeah, I just see the two of you getting to know each other, possibly online and then meeting in a 3D. And when you guys will meet in a 3D, so physically, it will be quite crazy. And you may feel like things are just, I don't know, like, let's say the um, electricity flickers or things are just, I don't know, crazy with the electronics or um, there's some type of coincidence always popping or a number you see everywhere went together and even before meeting each other. So with your future spells, I see this as something divine and you may feel it in your soul that something very special that is actually there and I feel that and this is why you feel the attraction and want to be building something together and marrying each other. So it really feels like um kind of like a gay drama type of thing or like something you see in movies only and so you experience that so get ready get ready for this my friends because that's coming so let's see next more about your love life or this person so anything you need to know about your future spells but like i said you're gonna feel lucky to have this person with the two clovers appearing and this is going to be a fun time to be with this person. Now this person is going to come after some type of split. So if, let's say, you ended a relationship recently or you feel finally ready to step towards a new connection, then this is going to be how it starts. Because the Eight of Cups talks about actually walking away from something that was not working or from the past or some type of challenge that is not really feeling good. And because you or the person is now stepping further and welcoming the new and welcoming what can be and not looking back anymore, this is when they're fully ready and opened to be with you. Because before, possibly one of you was still, you know, in situations or connections that were just not feeling right or you guys were just not ready emotionally to be dating. And now I see the two of you finally wanting to have fun, finally starting to desire to date and to connect and bond with different people and seeing which one is the most compatible or stronger bond. So in the beginning, maybe there will be some type of offers, okay, not just one. And so you will have to choose which one is actually best for you. And I see number eight, which is the infinite sign. And that's a soulmate sign as well. You can see 888 a lot. Or number seven, 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 and that's the chat pot. But here we have cancer energy, water sign for this one. And we have fire energy. So let's talk first about cancer, aka the chariot. So this to me represents a move. And that's why I see that you two are ready to date, ready to finally you know, connect and, and have fun with somebody. And because of it, this is when there's openness and the energy is welcoming to you. Your heart is welcoming that person in. And because of it, I see that you'll find that compatible flow with your person. It will feel easy to talk to the person, to exchange, to connect deeply as well. And that's why I see this you know, duality with the black and white colors as actually something that's a plus. So any type of difference that you have or any type of different vision that you have, this will be complementary. As like teaching the other person or inspiring the other person or just actually just a plus, but not as what they are or what they welcome, but what they have as their future partner. So your future spouse is going to complete you. And I'm not saying this as like you're lacking something. It's more the two of you coming together is power couple vibes here because you can support and have something as a plus to offer them. So let's say, like, for example, what I think about, like, to me, I hate driving. So, like, what I'm looking for as a person is also somebody who can just drive comfortably. So I don't have to do that task that is actually creating more anxiety in, in my life. So... 
you know, that can be that type of plus. Well, let's say, for example, my future spouse is not too good at cooking, that then I'm actually pretty good at cooking. So, you know, we can complement each other. That's really what I'm getting here with the duality in the relationship as a plus and, you know, complementing each other. Not in a way that I'm better than you, you know, it's not, not ego-centered, not at all. It's more, I got this. <laughs> you know, that's this reassuring energy I'm getting for your future spouse. But like I said, you are going to have options before meeting your future spouse. If not you, they will have options. But I do believe that's the feminine and the masculine. So you two will have options before encountering the one. And I'm sure you notice, oh, I'm actually becoming more attractive. Or I'm attracting more men or more women in my life. And perhaps that's for a reason. Because you are open, you're healed, and you walked away from anything that was a clutter or just damaging your soul or just... Um, making you feel weakened and you know when we tend to carry a lot of traumas and pain and suffering or sadness our energy speak the same frequency and because of it we tend to attract the same frequency so the more healed the more seductive the more in flow we are the more we attract people because they feel that and they find it super attractive super seductive and this is what i see with the two of you you will be so freaking attractive that you will have options but only one is gonna be the option and i'm sure you know who is more compatible with the future you want to build the values that you have the person you want to become what they can bring to the table like i said because they complete you so taking your time before meeting your future spouse is going to be primordial for you to actually choose the one that's meant to be with you. That's actually bringing something valuable to you. Okay? So that's going to be a hint. Like taking your time, getting to know each other, going on dates. So the person that's meant to be with you is going to be quite ambitious. They have plans for the future. They know what they're doing. They know their mastery. They're not lost. They're not blindless. Blindlessly just walking in life as like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what tomorrow will be, but what ifs? I'm just su surviving. No, that's not a survivor here. That's a conqueror. That's a leader. That's a builder. Rather, it's the masculine or feminine. I see two beings, and I talked about power couple here, so I'm not surprised to see that, but I see two beings supporting each other's ambition and vision, and because of it, you guys will be very influential or very inspiring to the people around you. And that's why you're attractive. And okay, so that's why. <laughs> that's why as well. Oh, actually, I did not notice, but the other, um, the other deck, the overall energy is the strength card. And that's number eight again. So I feel like you might be bombarded by infinite signs or number eight everywhere. And I think that's a sign. You're attracting someone very strong and attractive and someone that is speaking to your soul. And they can be very famous. As well, so I do see rather a rich girl, rich, I was about to say rich dad, but rich um, men, and they might be, like I said, very inspiring. So people may just look up to um, their knowledge, their expertise, their mastery. They know what they're doing, like that's for sure, and they know where they're heading as well with their future. So if you're looking for someone who is stable enough, who is generous, who is loving, who wants to conquer you, seduce you, who is not taking you for granted, and also complimenting yourself because they bring a plus, they bring something to the table, yes, that's the one. That is definitely the one you're attracting. So it's a couple cards to see you guys' future. In this marriage. Okay, this one's calling me. So, mm -hmm. okay, um, we talked about this. Walking away and then meeting the one, starting to date. And this is going to come at the perfect timing, to not say divine timing. And we talked about something written in the stars. And again, with that, I think of indeed things are written. It is part of destiny to meet and encounter a special person at a special time. There are some soul contracts and with the two candles, I see that everything that you wish for, this person will embody. And everything this person wishes for, you embody exactly what they pictured as perfection or ideal as the future wife they wanted. 
in a way of the roses, again, I think of someone romantic, but also wanting to grow and bloom with you. You might also uncover parts of themselves that they might not really notice or love or even just recognize about themselves and because of it you will awaken their true power or heal parts of their shadow self too. So I see a very strong um, spiritual bond with the two of you but also a spiritual um, empowering relationship because like I said you complement or awaken something within them that's going to serve them to be in their power state. So let's see more. One more, please. I knew, I knew it. I was like, these clowns are going to just give me more cards. And I'm talking about my guides because they're the one with more entities actually just pulling these cards off the deck. Ah, but anyway, sometimes they're just very <laughs> playful, let's say. <laughs> so let's pick one more, please. One or two. I'll take these. I'll take these. Okay. I know you're waiting for me. I can feel you. I just talked about this. There is indeed a soul connection. So when meeting this person, like, I knew it. Or I felt it was coming. So even though you don't know the person's identity before being with your future spouse, you're going to feel something. You're going to just notice, mm, I kind of feel like we were meant to be. Or I believe this is not a coincidence for me to meet you. This time or this way or this person. When I'm with you, maybe collecting memories, taking pictures when you go somewhere is something you guys may do or love to do the sight of you makes me so happy and we have the train on this one and i said calendar and again that relates to the timing so you'll be meeting at a perfect time to be building together so that's why i see that the more you are healed the more you open the fastest it will manifest for you the more this person will feel the energy as welcoming so let's see more places. So you can also be meeting at some type of, I don't know, some event. I think of a party as well. Online, on the phone, subway. And we had the train here. So that is again very similar. So subway. And if you meet somebody you find attractive in a subway, please make a move. Because that's going to be your chance. Like if you don't take the chance, you'll be redirected. Or maybe sometimes you'll get... Another chance, but please, if you notice somebody that you like, don't miss this opportunity. And a fancy event. It's funny because I talked about parties. So again, I think that's connected in some way. So fancy event. And they look quite fancy on this card. With them, these gentlemen trying to seduce her. So that can be a hint for you. Of course, it doesn't have to be where you guys meet or how you meet, but it can be related to what you do. So let's say you love to take the train or subway to go to a certain place or certain part of the city that you like. Or let's say you love to be traveling uh, or go to the mountains and hike together or go to the beach and take some pictures. You know, that can just be activities. And here, let's see, we have a restaurant. Uh, or maybe some type of coffee place. But I think it's a restaurant. And we have some directions as well. So you can be indeed guided to go somewhere. And if you feel the urge to go somewhere a certain day, do it. Because that can be the, the urge guiding you towards the one. Once we had nothing but everything. So I'm going to pick another one. From this deck. Perfect. So <laughs> it's funny because I talked about it's rather a coffee or uh, a restaurant, and there, beam, we have the coffee place. So the aroma of coffee always cheer me up. So they can be a coffee person, but if not, they can just talk about their energy as like they are full of energy. They always are doing things, and they're very hardworking as well, or just very bubbly. You know, always animated. Let's see. 
um, not places, let's see messages. So anything your future spouse wants to say to you. Thank you for this beautiful evening. And you're going to feel grateful to have dates with this person, even when you are married, okay? So just feeling grateful to connect, do activities together. I'll make you happy every day. Ah, oh, it's so future spells like. It's so beautiful. So these were the messages. So I'm going to put these on the side and I will pick next the zodiac grid. So this way you can see the zodiac sign of your person. And so far we had fire. Oh, and by the way, that's spring season. So that can also be the time when you guys meet. And summer, especially cancer and water energy for this one. So what a sign, fire sign and cancer so far. But we can have more. So let's see. With this grid, more zodiac sign for group number three. Okay, so we have Leo, Libra, Capricorn, and this is in between Taurus and Gemini. So let me pick next letters and words. So what you can see is a name, a place appearing, a code, a message. Let's see. Oh, I thought something was in my sleeve, but I don't think so. Um, this in French means day. So maybe you guys will be meeting around the day. I see LA could be the place or maybe a place you want to be visiting. We have a lot of um, feminine energy. She, you, from, sad and gentle USA. So LA, <laughs> perfectly connected. Taurus again. Eris and Libra again. Happy ever. Yeah, it's really getting happy ever forever after. <laughs> you guys are just going to connect deeply. And I can see that you guys will make each other happy forever. And you really, like when getting married and even before getting married, you will really picture that is this possible for you guys to support each other, love each other, make each other happy. Every day. Maybe that's why day popped in French. Or maybe journaling. Because I see journal kind of appearing. So journaling and uh, utilizing this technique to manifest can also be a good thing to do. A road. So if you plan to rather drive somewhere. Game in French is popping. So maybe that person loves... In type of game, could be board games, doesn't have to be always, you know, gaming or like virtual things. Mm -hmm -hmm. Law of attraction. So you can indeed manifest your future spells. And I believe that's your goal <laughs> to manifest the one. Her journey as well. This person can come from Europe, if not the US. Europe. I also think of Los, I mean, yes, Los Angeles and LA. Or maybe Las Vegas. Well, these could be places you guys will want to visit, for example. Like, personally, I would love to go back to LA or like Las Vegas. So. Especially for the scenery in Las Vegas. I think it's... Just mind-blowing, like the architecture and how they just built the city. It's kind of like when you enter um, like Hollywood studio. It kind of felt like kind of felt this way. So let's pick some stickers for the two of you about your marriage. Any other hints are welcomed. Don't look at me this way, but look at me this way is really the message. Water it path and with water it i see as growth so putting effort like if you want a garden to grow you need to water it if you want your marriage to grow you need to nurture it as well and with the path i just see the two of you guided celebrating birthday together and of course that can be the anniversary you know for your marriage a fresh start with this person again i think of rather cooking baking together or just celebrating um, like a birthday, you guys will love to eat fruits possibly together. We're going to a bar, maybe that's where you guys can meet. 
being deeply in love is totally the vibe for this one grounding so they will have this grounding energy because they're very mature and they're very like they can support you they have this dad or mother type of energy and you have to you know it's not something that's not balanced it's you two actually being on the same level and i see just you know connecting and vibing and just showing your love to the person which sometimes can be a bit overwhelming but yes that's the vibe so this is the reading i hope you like it if you do, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and manifest this beautiful energy for you in the future. For personal guidance, the tools I use, the cards I use as well, everything is linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next ring. Check my other ones appearing on the screen or on my channel. Take good care of you.